So there's been a fair few uh, changes since the previous video. Uh, since then, we put in the ColecoVision, the Intellivision, the Sega uh, Mega Drive, Sega Master System, and the Atari 7800, which also of course plays the Atari 2600 games, at least the vast majority of them. Um, the space aside here is for the Amstrad GX4000 and um, I'm also going to put in um, the Turbo Graphics or the PC Engine uh, at which the cartridge will need to reside most probably on top of this. So on the top here we have the Intellivision which is just the standard UK model which was composite modded. Uh, I don't have an RGB one which of course has uh, much nicer and clearer graphics. But I do have the RGB version of the ColecoVision and for that matter also the Atari 7800. So I put these two boards on the side simply because I had a bit of space and it makes it e much easier to get to those particular boards. Um, but up on here as I did below I put in the shelf which is screwed into the sides to support the additional boards so that there's no additional weight on all the other systems uh, which of course could cause a short in the worst scenario so I've uh, prevented that and um, put various spaces between the boards as required so we've got the, um, the Sega uh, Mega Drive the uh, Atari 7800 and the Sega Master System on top of here um, space is somewhat at a premium but within this confines um, I'll put in the um, the Amstrad and also the NEC the um, Turbo Graphics or the PC Engine probably end up using a PC Engine due to literally limitations of uh, space in here but I'll see how that progresses um, as you see it's all very tight it's very compact unit but there is space in here to do the remaining work um, the only system that I've built here uh, but I haven't made a, a controller for yet is the GameCube, hence why it's handling on the side um, I will get around to that but everything else has its appropriate controller board made and once those additional consoles are put into, into place I'll then start work on making, uh, on making the proper case as opposed to this sort of rough and ready skeleton board for strength but I shall make it uh, look very pretty with decals and, uh, and such like So, as is, the, uh, as is the way when I make videos, I should do a demonstration now, just to uh, show the games in progress. We'll start off with the Sega Master System. If I flick the system on, there's no controller in, in, attached incidentally, this is just going to go to the default game. So at least uh, it demonstrates that everything works. So, turn that system off. Move the slider because I haven't set this into uh, into complete finished mode. I'll just manually just check it's aligned. Turn that system on, and we have the Sega Mega Drive, which in this case is in 60 megahertz mode NTSC. In effect, that's why it's nice and full screen, which is quite nice. Also, it means that the circles, for example, with that. Uh, sprite over by the UK flag is actually a round one as opposed to being a little bit oval. Turn it off. Uh, let's see, next one. Let's do the Atari. Just lift these cables up. Slide the unit across. Put it into place for the Atari. Turn that on. First couple of seconds it always starts off as black and white but then the full colours kick in. Uh, it just seems to be a, a way of the uh, of the RGB board. It's actually uh, a very good little game this one. So that's that one. And to demonstrate with the um, Atari 2600 if I just change the cartridge to Tron Deadly Discs, which is a 2600 game. 
turn the system on again black and white for a second or two and straight into colour not a bad game also so let's turn this off we now go to the ColecoVision let's move this cable along as you see the switch unit that was manually made works very very well and reliably and there's ColecoVision and lastly for this update the Intellivision which is the next system along. And there we go. I said the graphics aren't uh, incredible being on composite but uh, at least it works and it's full screen. We just got a lot of little um, little bits between the colours but it's still very very playable. So, thank you for watching.